All right. Good morning, brothers and sisters. This morning, I want to talk about our lives. And I'm going to use a little example to talk about it. We're going to read from Galatians chapter 6, verses 6 through 10 as well. But I want to say that, uh, you know, as a, as a person who has come to the knowledge of the truth, let's just say around the age of 40 years old, around about 40 years old, that means my entire life I spent sowing corrupt fruit to the flesh. So basically what I'm saying is like if a, if a man goes out and his entire life he goes out and he sows wild oats. We're not talking about, I'm not talking about like sexually or anything. I'm just talking about goes out into the world and sows wild oats. He just does whatever he pleases. And then at some point in time, God comes in, opens his heart and says, you know, you can see the truth now. And the man begins sowing wheat and continues the rest of his life sowing wheat. Like the man can't be shocked and surprised when wild oats start showing up in the wheat. Can he? The man can't, shouldn't be shocked whenever wild oats begin showing up in his wheat field because he planted wild oats for the first half of his life. He may have been planting wheat for the rest of the time, but the rest, but, but those oats are still going to come up. They're still going to grow. They still have to be cut down and tended to. So what I'm going to read here, I'm going to read Galatians chapter 6, verse 6 through 10. It says, Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. That's telling you, sow good seed. It says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth unto the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. See, God is not mocked. In the real world, I can't go out into my garden and plant cabbage and grow tomatoes out of it. I can't plant cucumbers and get summer squash. I can't plant green beans and get any other vegetable besides green bean green beans. I can't plant wheat and get corn. I can only get actual wheat. You see, God is not mocked. He shows us in the real world that whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. So brothers and sisters, don't be shocked. When you see those wild oats growing in your field and you have to you have to tear them out don't be shocked because you've spent your half your life sowing wild oats just be sure do not grow weary in well doing so that there's there's plenty of wheat to harvest don't grow weary in well doing so that there's plenty of wheat to harvest I love you all, brothers and sisters. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Stay strong in the Lord. Jesus loves you.